great to be back at uh, Missyland, Tim, and uh, I see we found some new critters to talk to today. Huh? Yeah, occasionally we have this enclosed, but sometimes wild critters what, uh, sneak in here. What's, we, what's this one up here? We got to set a trap for that guy, don't you think? That's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I think he'll, he'll bite on peanut butter. And uh, Ruby <laughs> is a, a picker. She's picking um, carrots today and uh, some berries with mommy. I just I just love this garden. It's so nice. It's so protected. So this is like a, like an indoor garden outdoors. Yes, we enclosed it so all of the natural critters, uh, raccoons and um, mm -hmm. birds, etc. They don't enjoy it as much. So we have a, a nice assortment of some fruit trees, a wide variety of berry bushes. We have grapes. We have blackberries. We have raspberries, blueberries, mm -hmm. strawberries. And it's a great opportunity for a whole family to come together to plant. To learn. The genesis of this was the kids saying, Ruby said, Daddy, I want, uh, I'd want, I want to plant some strawberries. And Max wanted blueberries and Gus wanted blackberries. And, and here we go. Hey, is this, is this the head sign maker at Disneyland right here? Yes. She started. <laughs> hey, how are you? Great. How are you? Good. So whose idea was the garden? Was it yours or horrors or? I'm, I'm thinking it was. Yours? No, I think it was ours. The whole family wanted wanted to plant things, and the kids love to plant, and we love to uh, harvest and eat out of the garden. It's just great. Rhubarb. Rhubarb, sir. How about that? You're yes. exactly right. Peaches. Peaches. So, Tim, why don't we pick something and figure out, uh, maybe we'll go back to the hunting lodge and cook. Well, Stephanie picked some, um, some blackberries, and we're going to pick some tomatoes on the way out, and we're going to do some bookend cooking. We're going to cook a dish that you have right in the beginning of the day and something you'll have late at night. I, I call it bookend cooking. I like it. Let's do it. So it doesn't surprise me we start with dessert at Disneyland, right? That's the way to do it. Thanks, okay. Rube. So how are we going with the dessert here? What okay. are we doing? We're starting with some vanilla ice cream, a I scoop of that. And then we're going to go to the berries that Mommy and Ruby picked, load it up with some beautiful berries, and then... We're going to squirt some drizzle, some Disneyland honey on, and voila. I saw this beautiful young lady mashing up some berries a little bit earlier. What was she making then? Some kind of compote or yes. something like that, right? She was making a uh, berry compote, and she puts it on toast. It's a delightful, fresh treat in the morning, and it was Ruby's invention. Right, Ruby? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Not bad. So this is how you guys eat all the time here, huh? Yeah. You ever you ever have like vegetables first or any of that kind of thing? Because this is the last thing, right? It should be, but it's a special day today. So we're starting out with dessert and ice cream and berries. Because you honey. call this a bookend deal, right? Right. By that I mean we're going to be cooking something that we have first thing in the morning called a sunrise salmon surprise. And this is what you end the day with, whether it's a dessert uh, after dinner or a late night snack. Well, let's, why don't we flip flop it, get over to the range. We're gonna, we're gonna work on the, on the range with the uh, salmon dish. Absolutely. Well, here we go. We got a little uh, egg in the pan already. Yes, sir. This egg is fresh, folks. Where did this egg come from? From our chicken coops. Disneyland eggs. We just got them today, it fresh. Looked, it looked like the kids were having a great time out with the chicken coops. There's only one egg, actually two eggs. They love to feed them, they love to harvest the eggs, and they're eating more eggs now, which is a good thing. Yeah, so that looked fantastic. It's just part of the fun at Disneyland. So, yes, sir. So this is what we start with in the morning here. we got the egg going there. What's in this pan right here? Okay, I have titled this the Sunrise Salmon Surprise. Sunrise Salmon Surprise. I'm going to be surprised then. <laughs> it is a great way to start the day. You could get a veggie pat, uh, patty, any sort. There's all kinds on the marketplace, mm -hmm. but a veggie patty. Put a little butter in the skillet, you warm it up nice, and uh, then you add some- Smoked salmon in Some there? smoked salmon, you layer this on like such. You aren't messing around with and that. And make it nice and thick with the smoked salmon. Now you told me you could steelhead trout out of the creek out That's there right. in the spring. But, yes. But, but this this came from probably somewhere That's right, far but away. we have a smoker for them. We, we yeah. have smoked them and it's, and it's fabulous. So I, I start with the smoked salmon, a few chunks, put it on, and then I go with the lox, more salmon on top. So I layer, maybe Nova Scotia or something. Huh? Uh, somewhere. Yeah. And we uh, 
layer it up nicely like that. And then we take You know, that egg even looks better than a store-bought egg, doesn't it? Much more yellow than yeah. your uh, store-bought egg. Richer looking. Yeah. So give it a little flip. A little over-easy flip. A little over-easy. Hey, so we were out in, in the garden with the kids and your wife picking the stuff, which right. was a ton of fun. And tell me about these tomatoes a little bit, because they don't look like the tomatoes you get in the store that right. often. Right. They're, they're magnificent. They're heirloom tomatoes. And man, what a difference. You slice them up, you bite into them, it's heaven. So with this particular dish, I put a little garnish of fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. slicely t t uh, sliced tomatoes on the side. Now I put this bad boy right there. Okay, and you give that a minute. And this dish will knock your socks. Are you wearing socks today? <laughs> I, somebody warned me. Didn't you get the memo not yeah. to wear socks? I got the memo because anything you do at Mizzy is going to knock your socks okay. off. That's what I heard. So here we go. And... It's an amazing dish because it's high in protein, it's delicious, and the texture of it, I gotta tell you, you have the crunchiness of the veggie patty, mm -hmm. you have the salt of the salmon, and the smoothness of the lox. I'm gonna seal hunk your tomato. Please now. do. And then, it's the Don't nice- tomato tastes better than it looks even. Forget about it. Forget about it. And then the nice ensemble here, first thing in the morning, Mm. That's what gives you your energy. Oh, man. If I had to have one meal and that was it, it would be this. That's really good. I love it. Thank I, you, my friend. I love my trip to Mizzyland. Thank you, my friend. I've been here a couple of days, and it seems like I haven't seen it all yet, right? Isn't it great? Mm-hmm. We have a lot of fun here. I had a lot of fun. Are you going to make me pay? No, sir, not today. I love you. <laughs> love you right back, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you.